I would like to remind everyone here that uh, the importance of Jalan Sultan is not just about the Chinese community history, it's also our country's history, also the history of Kuala Lumpur. Okay. I would like to show you the ideas of old Kuala Lumpur. This map was done as, as uh, trying to figure out the uh, Kuala Lumpur in the year of 1870s. And then they, about 10 years later, British came, okay, came to Kuala Lumpur. They started to establish the uh, rather modernized system. Okay? So that you can see that the road, the, the road has been widened. Okay? And the, the area has become bigger. Okay? The, the old area was here. Okay, after the British came, then they started to establish the, the opposite side, Bukit, uh, Bukit Aman. And also the Chinese settlements become bigger because uh, the increase of the population. And the population is not only about the Chinese community, also Malay community and Indian community came. The British government tried to, to grab the land from their Okay, The same things happen now. So the, the land that they grabbed was uh, uh, Medan Pasalama. It's right in front of Bar Council. Yap Aloy lives right beside Bar Council. This is the well known Jalan Sultan. And it used to have a river here. Okay, now the river is already being drained, becoming Jalan Tun Tanjung Rock. And also, Kudura was the dam, a pond. This is Market Square. Uh, Yap Aloy House was here. And this is the market right in front of his house. But this is probably the features of the surroundings. And it tends to become an empty land after acquisitions by the, the British government. It's becoming an empty land here. This is also the empty land. The bar council now standing here. And this is the current street here. Becoming so messy and so busy, busy but unorganized. The British, after, after grabbing the land uh, from Yaboloi, they, they, they told Yaboloi that the market was unhygienic and a lot of uh, problems with creating here, around the area here. So they change. They reclaim the land, again, okay, beside uh, Roger Street, and they build the so-called, we know, uh, central market. So this is the central market. The piece of land has been uh, reclaimed, and this is the central market. Okay, the first version of the central market was a timber structure. And we also have a close-up pictures of the surrounding of the central market. <coughs> Okay, this is a picture that back uh, about 100 years ago. And this is, you can see that this is uh, the river. So you can see by Bona but this is the structure of the central market. Demolish for new development. After the, uh, okay, this is also a new pictures. But actually, from, from those old pictures, I, I realized that a lot of Chinese, yes, but we also see Malay and Indians. Okay. Petaling Street, let's see what happened to Petaling Street. So beautiful. <laughs> the street was so busy. It almost like the scene that we see from the movie now. Shanghai. Okay, old Shanghai or old Hong Kong, you see. It was so beautiful. And this is in 1980s. <laughs> and, and, and government see the potentials of this street you can actually attract quite a lot of uh, tourists coming to here. But I think the, the business here, the buildings are dilapidated and it's not enough to attract the tourists. So some more, they build the structure. Okay, this is so-called development again. Uh, so this is a view from Jalan Sultan towards Jalan Petali. Okay, this is, here this road is uh, Jalan Sultan. The MRT actually acquired this property, this property and this property. So the gate will be gone. Uh. And actually, notice that that is the bridge closing uh, uh, this is now the so-called Jalan Tun Tan Ching Lok. This is the view from north to south. This is the, the entrance of the, the gate, uh, the, the gateway of Jalan Petali. Used to have a bridge because there was a river. So where is this location? This is right in front of uh, Singma uh, shopping mall. And this is the bridge, the structure of the bridge. Used to have a river. So this is the entrance of Petali Street. Beautiful. Okay, this is the Kuala Lumpur, and this is the renowned uh, restaurant uh, to, the, to the Chinese community. Oh, so this is a beautiful pictures. After the road is clean, reclaimed, and this is now. And historic buildings along that area. And this is, nobody knows where is it. And this is the beginnings of uh, Sunjin Secondary School, and also the beginning of uh, Fuiju Association. Where is it now? Also, they refurbished and they, they, they demolished the old building and they rebuilt it into this 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 uh, rather modern building. And this is the 
uh, procession during the celebration of uh, coronation of the queen. This is beside the building. Also along the line, this is now where it is. <laughs> Again, the building now, right? And Oriental building was so beautiful at that, that, that time. And can still see the Masjid Jabatan, uh, the, the Jabatan, so beautiful in the 1960s. But now we can only say this because of the LRT. Islamic Hokkien Association. So beautiful. I told them if you keep the building, it can turn into a five star hotel. So I would like to share with you that uh, the culture and historical significance of Jalan Sultan. What do we have in Jalan Sultan? Why we are fighting for? Okay, along Jalan Sultan. Why we want to keep the buildings? Okay. A study okay, of the origin of Jalan Sultan. That is because in the year of 1886, on September 16, there was an opening of Selangor Railway. Sultan Abdul Samad, uh, Abdul Samad along with uh, Sir Frederick Bell, they took the train, the first train from Klang, and they arrived in Kuala Lumpur. They took about one and a half hour journey. Okay, then they arrived in Kuala Lumpur. And that time, Sultan did not have a palace in Kuala Lumpur. So when did he say? Sultan stayed in the Taukei's house at High Street, where Jalan Tun HSV is now. And then after that, people starting to think about why not to construct a palace in Kuala Lumpur. And it was suggested by Tengku Gudi. Then the location was at now where uh, Chingwu Stadium is. Okay, the suggestions. So. Then we thought that the reason of Jalan Sultan might be because of the, the, the chosen area that they, they would like to build a palace. But however, uh, Sultan Abdul Samad was already 90 years old. So they, they, they postponed the project but somehow they didn't build it. This is a picture showing the open ceremony of Selangor Railway, the time where Sultan arrived. So this is Jalan Sultan and Jalan Petali. This is the pictures uh, taken in 1920, 1925 by place. So the ideal location of the palace was here, was here. So this is the route actually approaching to the hill. Taken by American photographer in 1957, 31st of August, the day we declare independence. So after the events, after the ceremony, a lot of people marching out from the stadium towards Jalan Petali. This is Lok An. You can see so harmony. We have Malay, we have Chinese, we have Indian. If we take out the portion of Jalan Sultan, meaning that we are losing one important uh, main cut, like a jigsaw puzzle. That, the most important part has been taken out, meaning we're missing something. 